My friends, I'm Brian Wilfert, Member of Parliament for Richmond Hill. I'd like to talk to you today about human rights, but human rights in Iran, Burma, and indeed around the world. A central tenet of Canadian foreign policy has always been the protection of the individual, the importance of human rights. We've seen the abuse of human rights in places like Iran, where the presidential elections on June the 12th turned out to be a fraud. We've seen mass demonstrations in the streets. We've seen people jailed. We've seen people, in fact, tortured. We now see these show trials in Iran where people are being brought forward and confessing to things, of course, which they have not done in order for the regime to say that, in fact, the West interfered. We saw a popular uprising in 1979 against the Shah. We are now seeing a popular uprising against this regime, which clearly does not respect its own people, which uses brutality and force against innocent civilians, both men and women, and indeed children. We see human rights abuses in Burma, with Aung San Suu Kyi being locked up, again house arrest, on a pretext of misuse of uh, her role as opposition leader in Burma, where in fact an American had come to her home illegally, and she was put on trial, not him. In fact, he will be released now. Human rights is important for Canadians. It's important for Canadians because we need to speak with one voice. And unfortunately, we have not heard that voice. We have not heard that voice strongly from the Conservative government. We've also seen the abuse of Canadians, regardless of where they were born, in places like Kenya, where a woman was denied the ability to come home for three months because, her, because the Canadian Embassy said she had a forged passport based on what a Kenyan passport official had noticed at the airport. That turned out, of course, to be wrong. We see the situation of a Canadian who had to stay at the Canadian Embassy in Khartoum, Sudan for months. Again, no help from his government. There cannot be, and there must not be, two-tier Canadians. Where you're a Canadian, if you have a passport that says Canada, and we must afford the protection and the support to all Canadians, regardless of whether they're, where they're born. And again, whether it's Iran, Burma, the Sudan, wherever it happens to be, human rights needs to be at the forefront. But unfortunately, the Conservative government is now saying that things such as the protection of human rights, child soldiers, these types of words should not be used by foreign affairs anymore. It's time for Canadians to speak with one voice, to stand up and say to this government, we want you to act in our interests on the international stage. You must protect Canadians wherever they are. And where there are abuses, we need to stand up very strongly, work with our allies, both at the United Nations and elsewhere, to ensure. And we need to keep the pressure on, particularly on countries like Iran, where, in fact, these abuses are going on. And I would suggest the freeze, continuing freezing of assets, restriction of diplomats, and, in fact, clear sanctions against such abuses is the only way these regimes are going to get the message. Thank you very much.